described a little bit before about the differences in uh, DCD or dyspraxia, where you have these uh, connections between the cortex and the cerebellum that um, are different, or between the cortex and the spinal cord, right, the corticospinal tract. Mm -hmm. Now, what we additionally see with autism is that there's a lot of activity differences in regions that are related to social communication. So it seems to be the relationship between these motor sensory regions with the frontal areas, as well as with emotion-related brain regions. In particular, we find the cingulate, which is uh, a midline structure related to emotion processing mm -hmm. and to salience, you know, understanding what information is important, um, is uh, differentially connected and differentially activated in autism. And also the inferior frontal gyrus in autism is part of the region that's important for understanding other people's intentions, understanding why they're making an action. In autism, we see that differentially activated compared to dyspraxia. So kids with dyspraxia might not have difficulty with understanding why someone is making an action, but they have difficulty with making the action itself. Whereas kids with autism have difficulty making the action and also understanding why other people are making the action. Mm -hmm.